Okay, uh, hello my friend. Hopefully that you are doing great. So after the lesson about uh, how to set up environment, so now we need to go forward for the next lesson. So in this lesson, I want to tell you how to use Appium desktop and then try to launch the inspector screen. Because if you go back here, let me try to go back here. Uh, you can see the architecture here, you see. If we want to interact with something on the application, that means we need to tell that what element that we, we want to interact with, right? So that means we need to inspect the application and then we try to get the attribute from that element to interact. So <clears throat> we need to install the Appium desktop. So you can go to here, you see, uh, github.com slash Appium slash Appium hyphen desktop here. It's a tool and the main uh, feature of this is the inspector. So that means we still have uh, many other features, but the main feature that we want to tell in this lesson that you is as an inspector, okay? So now you go to this repository and then you go to the tasks here. You click on the latest one. Then you can see, uh, this is what we need to select. For example, if you are on the Windows, you can download this one. If you are on the Mac OS, you can download this one and you just install it, okay? Now, after you install it, let me see. The next step that we need to install the ABK file into the target device. So basically we need uh, an ABK file as a demo and then we can install on the device. And then I will tell you how to do IDB command to do it. Okay, so let's try to show something like uh, native demo app uh, web driver IO. So web driver IO is another framework, but uh, they have a demo app here. It's a very awesome and it's fit for our purpose at a demo app. Okay, so you come here. Uh, native demo app and then you go to the top here and then you click to the latest here. So we gonna install it on the Android device so you download the APK file. Okay. Okay. Now it's in now in the download folder here successfully. Okay. So now you go back to the terminal and you try to let me try to quit this one first. Off. Okay. You open the terminal and then you type ADP devices first to make sure that you have something attack here. Let me try to open the visor app to open my device. So if you have uh, one more, uh, more, more than one devices connected to the same machine. So you need to specify which device that you need to connect to and try to install it. I already installed it here, but I will try to do it again for you. Okay, so the command that's the ADB. And then you specify hyphen S the device by using the device ID here. And then you specify install. Uh, and this should be the location uh, of where you, uh, the download file. Okay, so it should be AB. Uh, Android native demo app.abk here and then I hit enter. So you see here it's now performing the boost installation now. Uh, install fail already exists. Okay, so that means, for example, you already have that on this device. Let me try to uninstall it first. Here, let me try to. Uh, Unstore it here and then I will try to do the command again. Okay, here we go. So you can see this is the application and it's in now installed on the device successfully, right? So the next step that we need to get the information from the app here. Basically, it's the app package name and the main activity, the main activity that we need to use to launch the app. Okay, so we need to use the command here. Uh, so we need to go to the cell device mode and then we specify another command to get the uh, current 
uh, application that's it opening on the device here, right? So you go adb hyphen s, and then you boot the device you did here, and then you type self enter. So you accept the self mode of the device, okay? So now you specify this command. You see, uh, dumbsys windows windows. And then you have this one, uh, grab hyphen E and then single code M current focus here. Let me try to zoom it out here. And then you type it, okay? Copy it here, put it here, enter. So you can see the current focus. This one will be the app package name and this one will be the main activity name, okay? So now you open the Appium desktop application that you have just installed at the very beginning of the lesson. Just wait a moment, just wait a moment for it to display. Okay, here we go. So you can see here, this is, we have some box. So Basically, Appium desktop will try to launch uh, another Appium server sessions because it will not access to the uh, device. So it's need an Appium session, okay? So basically, you can leave the box as default, but for me, I will try to change to another box to avoid conflicting. And there is one more thing. Don't try to use this box, okay? 20, uh, 47, 24, because this box is for internal bootstrap communication, so you don't need to mess it up. Try to start the server now. And then after that, you click on the inspector icon here. It will open the dialog for you to input the configuration to access to the device. I already have some safe capability here, but I want to do it again for you. So the first thing you need to boost, let me try to go back to the node here. So the first thing you need to boot, that is the app bucket, right? So it should be app bucket. Uh, the tie tag and in this case I want to grab the information here so the first one will be the app package I copy it I put here now I click uh, should be the app activity so it should be the main activity where we need to launch the app here copy then I put here and then I need to specify the UDID the device UDID right so in this case, this is the UDID. And then I need to specify the automation name. So because we are going to interact with the Android device, so I'm going to use Automator 2, okay? And platform name, okay, the platform name should be Android. Should be Android, yeah. And then you can save, and then you can open it in future. So this is a Samsung J7 and new, the new ones, because I already have uh, an old one. So I just wanna do something like different, a little here, save. So if you go to the save capability now, you click on this one, you select it and then you start a session. Could not connect to the server. Are you sure? Is it running? Uh, is it running on this box? Uh, but a different box here. Uh, okay, this is the box. Okay, because I changed the remote box here. So in the case you custom the box, so you need to change to the new box here, 27, 25 here, and then start a session. Uh, and now the server side, we don't have a, a could not find a driver for automation name, automator to, oh, sorry. It should be, click on the edit here, and it should be UI automator to, okay, and then I save it again here, start the session. So now you can see 
it tried to launch the device successfully here. And if you go back to the home screen, let me try to go back. It will be failed here, but let's try to go back here. And then you will see uh, where is it? This is the IBM 16 here. I want to show you the bootstrap. Okay, anyway, it will install a bootstrap uh, client on this device and try to control from there. So now you can see on the IPM desktop here is learned the inspector. So if you try to click here, you can see here, if you click, it will navigate you to the inspector screen. So basically, if you click here, it will try to highlight on the left here, you see. Uh, for example, I will try to highlight this one. This is the locking label here. And then you can do something like uh, tap here. Just try to explore, okay? Try to tap. And then you can see at the same time, my device is now clicked on the locking form and here it will relock, okay? So for example, you click on the home here. So it will not relock automatically here. So you need to refresh the resource here. You see, refresh source and screenshot. If you try to get the latest screenshot on the current uh, screen on the device here, okay? So this is the way we install Appium desktop, how to get the app package and the main activity information and try to boot a design capability to launch the inspector screen successfully, right? So in the next lesson, I will tell you how to create a new project, new Java project, and try to interact with this application. Try to have uh, everything ready for the next lesson, okay? So bye for now and see you in the next tutorial, in the next lesson.